how's it going? This is your general for December 2018. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, if it resonates, cool. Let me know in the comments. If it doesn't, check your other signs. If you don't know them, just Google birth chart. Super simple to find out. So this is a general reading. I'm not going to focus on any one area in particular. We'll just see what comes out and go from there. All right. Your overall energy for December is the Ace of Pentacles. So awesome. Awesome card. It's a new beginning. It's what else? <laughs> Um, all right, so it's a new beginning. Um, it's a blessing from the universe and it is pertaining to money. All right, so you could have a lot of money coming in in December or you definitely shouldn't have any financial issues with this being your overall energy. It could be a lump sum of money. It could be a windfall. It could be a new home. It could be a new job. Um, either way, it's a stable new beginning and it is money. Your recent past, you have the Four of Cups reversed. This is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It may mean something. It doesn't have to. So the Four of Cups upright is contemplation, apathy, just kind of boredom, whatever. Not real concerned about the um, <clears throat> offers being made to you. You just really don't care, right? But with it reversed, it's you're coming out of a period of feeling like bored, stagnant, you know, whatever. So that's cool. Your present, you have the Three of Wands. This is fire energy, so this is your energy as well as Aries and Sagittarius. This is preparing for the future. Um, it could be travel. You could be traveling. Otherwise, it is just looking out into the future, you know, preparing, planning. Um, and with the Ace of Pentacles up here, you know, if it's a new home or something, it's, you know, you just looking ahead. Building a new foundation or at least thinking about it. All right, in your future, you have the King of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, you could be dealing with one. You could have it in your chart or neither. It doesn't matter. Somebody could just be taking on this energy, you or someone around you. <coughs> King of Swords is very head over heart. Um, he is super intelligent, and it could be a she. It doesn't have to be a man. So anyway, the energy is super intelligent, head over heart. He bases everything on fact and logic. He doesn't let his emotions get in the way. He cuts out anything that isn't serving him. He's all about truth. He could be an authority figure, a lawyer, judge, cop, whatever, if that's somebody that you're dealing with. Now down here in your outcome, you have the Eight of Cups. This is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to mean anything, but it may. The Eight of Cups is walking away from something something that disappointed you and you're walking away from it to go find your ninth cup, your wish fulfillment. All right. So something didn't turn out the way that you had hoped that it would. You're disappointed. So you're walking away. I don't know what that is yet, but we'll see if we can find out. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Leo in December. Similar to the Eight of Cups in your outcome energy, the walking away from something disappointing. To clarify the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Six of Swords. More air energy. <coughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius may mean something, doesn't have to. Um, Six of Swords is moving away to calmer waters. It could also be travel, like you have the Three of Wands in your present, so you could definitely be traveling. Um, you don't have to be, though. This is just a moving away from something that wasn't so calm, right? Five of Swords is conflict, conflicting energy. So after you go through some sort of conflict, you're moving away to something calmer. With the Ace of Pentacles here, you may have been in a job that, you know, just kind of was a pain in the ass or something, and you are leaving it and starting a new job, or there might have been conflict in your home and you are moving, something like that. Um, I, I mean, it could be a relationship, but I don't see anything love-based really here so far. So this looks to me to be more of, um, like, 
work related, home related, whatever. We'll see what comes out though. If you are looking for a love reading specifically, yours is up. I post those weekly. The generals are just monthly. All right, clarify the three of wands for Leo in their present. Oh, okay. Eight of Pentacles. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You may be dealing with one. You don't have to be. Um, you may be traveling to see an earth sign. You may be preparing for something with an earth sign. Otherwise, this is work. This is a lot of work. It's kind of the workaholic card. Um, again, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is your overall. So you could be traveling for a job. Um, but again, you could be moving. Um, but the Eight of Pentacles is is a lot of work. Like it's you're really working a lot. <laughs> um, all right, what else here? Clarify the King of Swords. Okay. King of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Cups reverse. This is a lack of love, lack of emotion. Now, the King of Swords is generally head over heart. He can be detached. He can be cold. Um, just make sure that if this is your energy, you're not cutting yourself off completely from your emotion. If this is somebody near you, um, they're probably cut off emotionally. Um, you might be having some issues with a love relationship in the future, especially if you are dealing with an air sign. All right, clarify this Eight of Cups and your outcome. What are you walking away from? What has you disappointed? Okay, guys, all right, it kind of just turned into a love reading. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to explain all of this as if it were a love reading now, and I'll show you why. So the Eight of Cups, the walking away from a situation that was disappointing, is clarified by the Two of Cups reverse. This is my soulmate card. Um, the more water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but Cups are love and emotion. So it's a disconnect, right? There's a connection here, a soulmate connection that is not in harmony anymore it's out of balance you're disconnected so you're walking away it is a breakup unfortunately um but that would be why you have the six of swords up here in your overall with the ace of pentacles so you're moving away to from something that you know was conflicting right there's some some kind of shit here some kind of arguing fighting you're moving away from it with your with your eight uh, yeah your eight your ace of pentacles that's a new beginning. It's a new stable beginning. You might be having to move out of a house with somebody that you were with because it, there was too much conflict. Um, now, if we're talking about the Eight of Pentacles in a love relationship, that's the workaholic card. But in, in love, it's like repeating the same thing over and over and not seeing any change, right? So you then have the Three of Wands. It's looking out to the future, you know, looking out looking ahead to something different um like you don't want to repeat the same cycle over and over all right so since it has turned into a love reading now um it could definitely be with an air sign again like i said this king of swords with the ace of cups reverse you might have been dealing with a gemini libra aquarius that wasn't being very loving oh okay um all right guys Three of Cups reverse. Um, I do have to say this because the obvious Three of Cups reverse could indicate that there was a third party situation. Somebody may have been cheating. Don't have to be though. So if that is not something that is on your radar, if it's not something that you suspected already, don't run with it. All right. Um, it's just a possibility. So <laughs> it could also just be lack of celebration um, maybe if you wanted a new beginning with someone that you're with, you know, like a rebirth of the relationship or something, it's not happening. I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, all right, let's clarify 
Let's clarify this Two of Cups down here with the Eight of Cups. Let's see if I can get something else on that. Maybe why there was a disconnect, why there's lack of balance, lack of harmony, and what causes you to walk away. Hmm. With the Eight of Pentacles there and the Three of Wands, somebody may have Somebody may work too much and it interfered in the relationship. Somebody may have had to travel a lot for work with the Three of Wands. Oh, shit, guys. All right. So to clarify the Two of Cups, and I'm really sorry, um, you have the Three of Swords. So, uh, I mean, I don't even know what to say about it. It speaks for itself. So Three of Swords is heartbreak. It's betrayal. It's literally feeling stabbed in the heart. It's a third-party situation. Um, and you do have the Three of Cups reversed up there. So you have the Three of Cups reversed in your overall. And you have the Three of Swords down here in your outcome with the Two of Cups reversed and the Eight of Cups. This is definitely a breakup because somebody betrayed somebody. Damn. All right. Um, I'm going to clarify the Ace of Cups here. Reverse with this King of Swords. And then I'll get you your advice cards. Oh, okay. The High Priestess. Make sure you're listening to your intuition. Trust your gut. If you think that, that this person is doing something to you, um, trust it, all right? If you think that they are being shady, um, trust it. Trust yourself always, all right? Okay, now I'm going to get you some advice. Actually, I'm gonna grab the other deck because I already have an advice card from that deck. Get you another one and then I'll show you what it is. Okay. All right, guys. So you have, as your advice cards, you have the Knight of Pentacles. This is forward movement, but it's very slow. So this is an advice card, it's just telling you to take it slow. You're moving on to something more stable, but very, very slowly. All right. Whatever you're doing, make sure you know what you're getting into. Make sure you're taking it slow. You're not jumping into anything. And you have the High Priest. This is also the Hierophant in the other deck. Um, so this is, it could be a religious figure, you know, someone in your life. It's spiritual. Um, so through all of this, you may need to consult someone um i don't know what your belief system is but you know take it for whatever it is for you in your life you may need to if you go to church you may need to consult your pastor your priest whatever for advice in this situation you may need to um, seek some sort of counseling you may need to just um focus on your own spirituality to get you through this um that's how i am so it doesn't have to necessarily be a religion. Could be, if that's your thing. If it's not, it's, you know, your own spirituality. All right, take some time for yourself and consult with whoever it is that you consult with, whether it's your higher self or whatever it is for you. Um, take some time for yourself spiritually to get you through this. Okay? All right, love you guys. See ya.